The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Squatty German. Squatty German. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, that's what he's in my phone ass. Yeah. Yeah. You that's... saw you change it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm the host of this great podcast, uh, and uh, we have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest homosexual that we all know and love, Mr. J.P. <laughs> And Derek Alders. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Thrilled to be here. Yeah, man. no, I can tell you right yeah. now, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I love coming here every yeah. fucking week. It's just great. You don't even have to. Uh, I feel obligated. You don't have to. I, I even feel, say. I feel obligated. I tell him every time, you don't have to. It's okay. We've got plenty of guys that want to be on the show. Yeah, and but I don't just, fucking like any of them. Uh, yeah, right. You don't want to give them the opera. It's not yeah. that you want to be here. You just don't want them here more. Yeah, yeah that's something, exactly something it. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. It's like I'd rather watch, you know, the fucking Cardinals lose than the Cubs win the World Series. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Fair. Uh, but anyways, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have absolutely nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and uh, make a lot of people that have thin skin really offended. And so if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. All right. Um, yeah, we got a good episode for you guys today, I think. Yeah, yeah, you want to know why? It's going to be great. You want to know why? Because I'm here. Goddamn right. Because yeah, JP man. is here. Yeah, That's, there you go. Fucking gave me the boot last week. I did not. Derek did. No, well, Scotty, you specifically said yeah. you're tired of having gays right. on the show. Nope, he did. I know. I bet he did. He Sounds did. like something Scotty would say. Yeah. Man. Wow. Wow. Thank so, God I'm not black. I'd never be able to come back. <laughs> I know. Yikes. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> Let's change the subject. Yeah, yeah you just please. That real quick. Yeah. Well, he wants to stop it. He don't uh, want people to know the real squ- the real squatty. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. He's a squatsy. Yeah, he is a squatsy. I don't even have to defend myself. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've got an excellent show for you guys today. We got some stuff happening in the current events that we're going to talk about. We've got overrated or underrated. That's where I draw the line. And questions in Perguntas. Uh, some of them are your guys' suggestions uh, from Monday Pun Day or Mon- Monday Fun Day, something like that. We name it something like that. Uh, but then we also have a he is draft. a fucking consummate professional, is he not? Oh, he's fantastic. I mean, Absolutely. to tell you, he. I'm surprised nobody's trying to steal him away. He's a regular porky pig, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got a draft and, as always, a shitty situation. But before we get on to that part, uh, let's move on to uh, our week, week recap. We like to tell you guys, uh, you fine listeners out there, what happened to us over the last week because we know you all really care. Uh, and you know what, JP, you were uh, you were gone, so uh, you know. had so all you, of this I had time. Two weeks, you had two weeks to, to do, do something, anything, anything, and I really did. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I got some new like uh, furniture. I got a new TV stand, and so for your giant ass TV, yeah. So I started putting it together, and like the comments underneath the product from Amazon. Easy, easy to install. Five fucking stars. Everybody's whipping this motherfucker out in an hour. Like it took me sixty minutes, four and a half hours in. Jesus fucking Christ! I'm like, well, this piece doesn't fit right, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> You're like, why do I have all these extra parts, dude? I'm, so, I'm, st- I like. Okay, so it's it's got shelves, and then in the middle it's an electric fireplace, and then shelves on the other side. I got one side done. It looks fucking great. But the other side, there's this one piece, and it just, 
it will fit, but then it's backwards. It's fucking <laughs> supposed to be facing this way, but it doesn't fit. The if f- you fucking face it that way. <laughs> the fireplace heats up the wall. Dude, it's fantastic. I <laughs> took, I fucking took apart that specific section yeah. and put it back together like fucking six times <laughs> because I'm like, I've got to be fucking missing something. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm fucking lost. So I was like, I'll smoke a bowl and think about it. And then I was like, oh, maybe it's like upside down or something. Nope. There's only one fucking way it fits together, man. And it's the wrong way. You know, so the, I don't know what I did. The but. funny part is, is that people uh, like companies used to make directions where they were just written out. Not anymore. It's the, just pictures. It's pictures. And then for a you YouTube fucking video. people that can't figure right. them out still. The, but they've got a YouTube video. But dude. I've seen fast forward shit and fast forward before. This is even faster than that. I don't know. It's like five minutes. Uh huh. Done. And I mean, I'm like rewinding, pausing, rewinding forward. Dude, where's this peg go? Where's this fucking dude? You're like, why I am, am I not that guy? You're like, I why can't. am I brining chicken? I'm just trying to put this fucking <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, I don't understand, dude. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to call in a fucking audible and get uh, somebody uh, yeah. over there to fucking you're gonna phone a friend i'm i'm gonna have to because <laughs> otherwise i'm just gonna have half a fucking tv stand uh we, we know uh, choi choi can always figure that stuff out oh yeah he's yeah. asian yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, wrote he probably the wrote the instructions <laughs> yeah he probably made them yeah just just in english and he chinese. did the instructions yeah, his, the chinese, his kids yeah. made the product yeah. he wrote the instructions I did that with my with my nest whenever I bought it. Yeah. I bought it secondhand because I'm cheap. <laughs> and uh, I so I was like, now I don't know the how other to... people can still control it, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know how to hook it up. So I'm like, uh, I call a buddy of mine. He's like, just take a picture of the uh, of the wiring. It's really easy to do. And I was like, okay. So I hooked it all up. And I'm like, let me go down, flip the breakers, and then I got a switch like in my laundry room or whatever where my furnace is that I can kill power that kill, way too. Yeah. So I flip the kill switch, flip the breakers. I go, I take the old thermostat off, take pictures of how it was wired, and then wire the new one up. And then I go down, I flip the breakers, and I yell up at my wife. I'm like, all right, hook it up, turn it on. She's like, nothing's happening. And I'm like, (laughs) fuck. And so I'm like, what do you mean nothing's happening? And so I flip the breakers off, flip them back on, run back up. I'm like, fuck, nothing's happening. So I call Ness, and I'm on the phone with them for like an hour and can't figure it out. I'm like, well, fuck it. It's the hottest day of the year, mind you. And so uh, I go to get the old thermostat. I'm like, I'm just going to hook the old one back up. Fuck it. So I hook it up, nothing. And I'm like, shit. And so I call Nest again, and I'm on the phone with them for another hour. They're going to send me something. And then I'm sitting there like I know what I'm doing, and I'm looking around the laundry room, and I'm like, no fucking way. Like I had the kill switch off. So I flip the kill switch back on, go up, look, and the old thermostat's back on. And I'm like, God damn it. (laughs) So I unhook it all again, hook the nest back up, go back down, starts right up and turns right on. And I had to call nest back and I just go, yeah, this is in regards to case number one three nine six four two. I'm a dumbass. And they're ass. like, okay, what's that? I go, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I said, I got it fixed. I'm dumb. I don't send that out. I'm I'm fine. I, I hope they recorded that. Like, I do too. Yeah. This guy said, if he calls back, just play this for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is why when you call about like having issues with your cable and the first question that they always ask is, is this fucking thing plugged yeah, in? Right. That's yeah. why I've you're, never had a kill switch. You're that yeah, guy. Right. Yeah. But, uh, but no, that's th- this is one of the things that my wife and I cannot do together. Yeah. We, it, it is, it, it always ends up in a fight. The first one is moving furniture around. Like if we're moving, no, do not do that with her. Uh, and me uh, and the other thing is putting furniture together yeah uh, it, it is a fight waiting to happen dude so, it's so not, hard not good not good because what what will happen she puts how her, are these people doing it in an hour uh she's my they're they people like the my time. wife yeah my wife puts the stuff together because if i try to do it i'll fuck it up well, and then she'll tell me that the correct way and that's how we get into a fight because she's right this guy yeah. is like, check this thing out. Yeah. It gives us all these extra screws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at all this extra shit they gave this us. This is great. <laughs> Sit in the chair and it yeah. just falls apart. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, so you had two weeks and all you've got is putting together. Halfway putting together. Yeah, I didn't even get the whole thing <laughs> yeah. put together. No, I, My put, apologies. I, had a, 
uh, two little nightstands and a bed and uh, some other shit. I put that all together. It's all good. If he's actually sleeping on an air mattress right now. <laughs> no, no, I got all that shit done. I couldn't so get the good. springs and the mattress to coil right. <laughs> right, so. right. No, it's good. It's good. But yeah, yeah, that's about all I accomplished. Well, we know that you're a connoisseur of television shows. Did you watch anything good? Yeah, Animal Control. Have you seen it, Joel yeah. McHale? It's uh, good. Yeah, I it's, like it. It's it's. I like good. Joel McHale. So yeah. Uh, well, that's a new one I started watching. So there you go. There you go. All right, Derek. Um, I went to. I didn't say it's your time to go. Well, I, said, I don't really give a uh, shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, here's what I did. Okay. Uh, I went to Max Sabbath on Wednesday. Yeah. How's that? Good. Fucking amazing. Good. And I never like. Once I hit like thirty, probably I stopped going on the floor for concerts. You know who like, else was there? Yeah, uh, I know a couple of people that were there, but who yeah. else? Owen. Owen Marshall. Was he really? Oh yeah, man, he was fucking stoked for the Sling deal. Blade comic, Sling and Blade comic, and I didn't even comic. get a fucking. He didn't even, he didn't even do a set. No, I didn't I'm get surprised. a picture. Yeah, you should have fucking got a picture at least. Uh, I didn't even. I don't. How did you know he was there? Because I'm on his fave. Dude, we're boys, dude. Ah, I didn't know that. He loves me, and I can't blame him. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) You Uh, know? Who am I to fucking wreck his whole world? So, yeah, of course I accepted his friend's request. Yeah, of course. course. Why wouldn't you? You got to. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, I I went down on the floor for Max Abbott. Once I hit 30, like, I'm like, man, I'm too old for the floor. I don't want to fucking slam into people. I'm not a mosh pit guy. I'm not that shit. But uh, Max Abbott, I was like, I've seen him once. They were awesome to be down up front. I'm going on the floor. So we were, like, right up front. I would imagine not too many people take a good run and start at you. You know what I mean? They do. They, they do? Yeah. It's did, like fucking memory foam, dude. Yeah. Uh, it's fucking, they, they do. They're just <laughs> bouncing into me. Yeah. Sometimes I have to fucking pick them out of me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, when they're throwing like double cheeseburgers into the audience and oh. Derek's trying inflatable to get every single one of them. Yeah. Do they? They're giant inflatable cheeseburgers. Yeah. Uh, did you like try to eat balls? one? Yeah. No, no. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. But you try to take on. a bite. But uh, it was a great time. That's awesome. Uh, I had a blast at that. And then uh, we also went to Tanganyika on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, I saw some of your pictures. I've that was cool, huh? I've never fucking done that before. And like, my streak is over. No animals fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no animal outside of that bird i got a hold of yeah right no, right, right. That, Dude, no. fuck a rhinoceros yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that toucan got it T- uh, tanganyika is like a fancy petting zoo for like like exotic animals and yeah stuff. yeah and you rich can, white people you can't really that's why Derek was there yeah. no I, my job said hey everybody want to go to tanganyika and i'm like fuck yeah <laughs> so they gave us beer and let us walk around and food and then let us walk around that's cool so they I, gave you beer and then let you walk around with you animals? were only you only got two beers uh, okay. so it's, it's <laughs> not enough to do anything other than <laughs> to my five-year-old niece she was a little fuckered up um <laughs> but, but we fed uh giraffes hippos and lemurs the lemurs, lemurs are were badass, dude. Cool. They'll come right up and fucking yeah, all over you. Yeah, yeah their hands cool. were like rubber. It yeah, was, they're cool. Or paws or whatever. It was super weird. And then everything was active as shit. Like the bobcat was like swinging around on this fucking uh, like rope. And then two rhinos I watched, like a, an adult and a like kind of a baby. I'm guessing it's probably like one or two. Uh, cause I, you know, I can look at a rhino and know exactly how old it is. <laughs> it's just you know a skill I, mean? I have yeah. a special skill set that I have. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but they were like play fighting or whatever. Yeah. Not fucking. I know that. I know that. That was at Disney. They were play fighting elephants. That was the best tour ever. Uh, that's what I looked at my wife. I was like, you want to go back to the hotel and play fight? Cause they were straight fucking, uh, but yeah, I watched the rhinos like kind of butt heads and fight and chase each other around which was pretty cool so i had a i had a fucking awesome time out there that's and, cool yeah I've, I've wanted to go and my wife has been wanting to go but we just never it's totally worth it yeah we got to pet kangaroos that's so, fucking cool yeah they're they trying to punch fucking, you no you no, can only pet little. them you can only pet them when they're laying down like here they are you they're can only pet them when they're big, laying down bro. on their backs that's the only way but they're like super <clears> fucking <throat> soft wow yeah it was fucking cool dude and the penguins were dope as shit. Did you try to do a dance with the penguins? No, they. Were, I tried should've. to feed them, but it was an extra ten bucks. Did so they think you were Danny DeVito? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm taller than that guy. <laughs> That's like a Scotty and I had a kid. Yeah. You know, oh, it was like Danny DeVito. Oh man! Wow, thanks, man. Mm-hmm. Anything else? But I wouldn't fuck Scotty. No, of course not. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's against the law and your religion. Yeah, yeah, my religion. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, that's that's about all I did. Bold with JP, not yeah, well, yeah. but did uh, I did bold with JP? 
because I do that every Monday now. Yeah. So that's yep. good. What a lucky son of a bitch you are, man. You know how many people there are in the city that begged to bowl with me? Yeah. And I picked you. Owen Marshall. That's it. Just that's me it. and Owen Marshall. Yeah, that's it. Those are the two. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to bra- I didn't want to brag, but yeah, those are the two. Yeah. Oh, it's like geez. a Pokemon league he wants yeah. to get in with. Yeah, with yeah right. And, yeah. So what's your weekly uh suggestion for television show that you watched? I didn't really have time to watch. You much. didn't? No. We watched a movie. Which movie? Uh Nowhere on Netflix. Uh, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh that is Fucking gross. Uh, I, I can't do uh, gory shit. Yeah, I'm not a big like, fan of it. It's a, it's a Spanish movie but or a Mexican movie or something that's in Spanish, but it's uh, I watched it where it's they dub over, which you can't really tell much. But Yeah, you can't really tell. You really can't. Oh, yeah. But uh, especially with the shit that goes on in that one, it's like this lady that is in, ends up in like a shipping container that falls off of a boat and is in, 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 it's in an ocean. And she's pregnant, and she... Has a baby, eats the placenta, cuts her Lego. It's fucking gross, yep, dude. I'm out. Yeah, I was out too. I watched the whole thing, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's a where you draw the line that nobody's ever suggested. Like, where do you draw the line if you're in a movie theater? And you get to a part in a movie where you just get up and go, nope, that's it. Fuck this. I'm out. When they let a woman drive. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. You know what? I like when my wife drives because then I don't have to. That's true. I walked out of Super Troopers the first time. I, I did saw too. It. I walked out of the theater. I did too. I thought it was it. the worst thing I ever. I thought it was awful. Oh, and God. Now I love it. Now I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that crazy. crazy i fucking walked Dude, out it's the only out. movie i've ever walked out of. me too <laughs> holy shit wow well i guess i am retarded after all yeah congratulations like all those tests were wrong yeah i got yeah. a touch of the tizzy i gotta fucking i gotta call Woo. some people yep sure namely my doctor uh-huh. <laughs> yeah and tell him he's a fucking yeah, piece of shit look, wow that's crazy but yeah, yeah okay. we that's walked out funny. like an hour into it okay all right fair enough uh, well, I got to celebrate my 36th birthday over the weekend. Happy uh, birthday, thanks, Scotty. Man. Thanks, man. Dude, you were even prompt. You were early. Yeah, I was early, you way early. I, I appreciate it. JP sent me a text message a week early, which I, that still means a lot to me, man. Yeah, Thank man, you very for much. For sure. Uh, it was a very nice, nice text message thanking, you know, thanking, uh, well, I don't even know if it's a thank you. It's just that he, he appreciates, you know, being able to do the show because he has such a good time doing it. And I thought that meant a lot. And then I get a text message from Derek. Happy birthday, fuckface. I'm like, oh, cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, there's that. Uh, but no, I, I got to do everything that I really wanted. Did I got you get to get drunk? S- huh? Did you get drunk? I did not get drunk. Did you- I, I did break the seal, though. Yeah? Yeah. I um I went over. I, I, I got to hang out with my family, so my, my I went over to my brother's house and stuff, and uh, my dad came into town and uh, just got to hang out. And I, I didn't drink anything that night, but... Uh, I think the following night we ended, I, I ended up having like a glass of wine and stuff like that. Just kind of not not anything crazy. Um, glass of wine, you're getting there, dude. Hey, you, man, you're wearing him down. I'm not. It's not going to be long now. He'll yeah. have his dick in my mouth. Bourbon uh, barrel glass of wine. Oh but, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I went oh, to manly wine. Yeah. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's going in your wine. mouth. You're yeah, not oh, going yeah. in his. That's fine. My favorite thing about this this time of the year is is I'm actually flexible. like like the fall beer. So I needed to have an Oktoberfest, yeah, okay. especially while it was my birthday weekend. It was like my cheat weekend, so I did get to have an Oktoberfest or two. Uh, but no, I didn't do anything absolutely crazy. But I did go golfing, as you can possibly imagine. Or yeah, that. Did you bring uh, your snowboard. I hit a golf ball with my snowboard. Yes, nice. nice. Yeah, nice. Went four probably further than his driver. <laughs> four four hundred and fifty yards. Wow, yeah. that is fucking impressive. <laughs> I happy Gilmore. That Holy motherfucker. shit! No. Took a running start. What do you think? Three wood here? No. <laughs> snowboard. snowboard, 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 snowboard. Yeah. Uh, no, I bindings. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh Gotta fuck have yeah! The Absolutely. One binding. Just one. Yeah. If you put both, you'll never find the ball. No, nah, the counterweight fucks it yeah. up. Yeah, it's just <laughs> off gone um but no i i played the best hole of my life though it was a par five don't let your wife hear that i know but it was a par five i had an amazing drive and then i uh was on in two and i shit you not i was no shit. 13 inches away from the hole on my side oh, wow. i almost got an albatross that would have been cool so 13 inches away nice. come i hope i marked the fuck out of your arm too 
Um, but no, 13 inches away. I mean, uh, Marcus fucking And your guys' measurements, six inches away in my measurements. So yeah. that's that's what that's it was. That's awesome. Uh, but no, it was a good time. Got to see a whole bunch of family. That was probably the most important. I didn't want to do anything. They wanted to like take me out to dinner and do something fancy. And I was like, I don't want to do that shit. That sounds like more of more of a hassle, mm. not not as fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then played dominoes, man. Played a lot of dominoes. I fucking love dominoes. And I am not a lucky person. I suck at it. I suck at dominoes because I have to take off my shoes and socks. Oh, do you? Yeah, otherwise I'll never know if I scored because of fucking... I used to get really lucky I'm at really dominoes. bad. Like, uh, my uh, friends are all like, oh, you have the blah, 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 blah. I'm like, how the fuck do they know what I got? <laughs> yeah, because they know. Yeah. They're fucking smarter than I am. I used to get really lucky at Domino's because like, I lived out in a weird neighborhood, so they never got it there within 30 minutes, so it was free. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Yeah. Hey. Hey. There you go. Uh, the last I thing that. I did that guys last thing. And I don't remember if I mentioned it last week, but I want to mention it now. I, I have seriously got into a very old TV show that I sincerely do appreciate and haven't ever watched it until now. Uh, cheers. Yeah. You talked about oh, it. Yeah, last it's week. a great show. Man. Uh, me and my wife, that's what I wanted to do for a majority of the weekend. And I had absolutely no idea ever. Oh, I know it's going to take <laughs> for fucking It took ever. me a year. Okay. Well, we got plenty of episodes. So it's good. All right. Yeah. Hard. And they're 20 episodes or 20 minutes long. Yeah. They're not long, no. but there's like 27 episodes it's per season. season. season yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I had absolutely no, I no idea. Did you know that the ca- girl that plays Carla? Rhea is married Perlman. is married to Danny DeVito. Yeah, Rhea Perlman. Had no fucking idea. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, it makes perfect sense. But I did yeah. the whole time. I thought she was actually a lesbian the whole time. But that's just me. Me being wrong. That happens a lot. Uh, but yeah, that was my week. I appreciate all the birthday witches, everybody that listens to the show that all messaged me personally. All the birthday witches. All the yeah. birthday Tackling wishes. All the right. birthday w- wishes. Yeah. Spelling out happy birthday on your broom. We mm. appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah. All that. Uh, but yeah, that was my week. I hope everybody out there had a great, great week. Uh, and thank you guys all all for, uh, you know, sending me your, your best. I have Love a question. It. What's up? What the fuck is an albatross? Albatross is a double eagle. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, that's getting it in the hole. And that's a, a lar- An albatross is a large water bird. It's a two nice. on a five. Nice. It's a two on a par five. You get it on your, on your second shot on the par five. Okay. That's what it is. It's fucking, I've never done that. That's better than a hole in one on a par three. It's fucking amazing. I don't know. I don't think all the one's more impressive. Uh, I, I told you just uh, hit not, hard. Then you, you know, you I can. told my wife if she got a hole in one before I ever do, I will be so fucking pissed. Dude, I begged her whenever I got here tonight. I was like, <laughs> please take golf lessons so you can beat Scotty at golf. I offered to pay for him. I, I, I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, you don't know how much, how full and joyous my heart would be if we went down for an episode and the first thing Scotty says is, well, my wife beat me at golf. I'm oh, not no. playing that anymore. Dude, you know how great that would be? And it, tef- it definitely could happen. Oh, I would love it. I, I follow a couple girls on TikTok who could definitely beat me Oh, in there's golf. tons of girls that can beat me at bowling. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Watched, yeah. I've watched it. Uh, there yeah. were. Thank you. Yeah, there. Uh, <laughs> no, the one, the one that I bowled a couple weeks ago that I thought was just going to mop the floor with me, I ended up beating her. Wow. Three, to, three and one. Do they so. have like, do, are, do they get to use lighter balls? No. No. I mean, they can, but they don't. They don't, no. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I had no idea. I mean, they can, but they don't. Okay, also. fair enough. Chad Daniels fucking has a great bit. Uh, dude, that dude is fucking that, He has a bit where he's like, I've, I went golfing this weekend, and I finally beat my girlfriend. Keep in mind, those are two separate events. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, well, are you going golfing? I'm like, yeah, why else am I dressed like an asshole? Sometimes <laughs> I get so mad. <laughs> Anyways, now we get to move on to the current events uh, for this week because there were quite a few of them. Uh, I wanted to bring this up, even though I didn't watch the fight, but I definitely saw the the uh, chaos that ensued. Uh, but I guess uh, Dylan Danis uh, was disqualified in his boxing match against Logan Paul. Did you see that? No. Nobody oh, dude. cares, man. So apparently this dude was getting outpointed and beat the entire boxing match because boxing matches are fucking boring. And then he anymore. tried to bite his ear off. No, he tried to put him in a headlock mm. and then like bring him to the ground. At least that's what it looked like. But I guess he was just getting beat the whole time. And then, I mean, everybody fucking stormed the ring and it was a big, huge ordeal. And I, I am just, I don't know. It's just kind of confirming what we've been saying about boxing. It's dead. Yeah. It's stupid. Stop. Yeah. 
If you want to have a good old fashioned fight with a dude, put him in MMA. Yeah, let him lay on a guy. Yeah, for right an hour. for an hour. Nah, just beat the shit out of him. That's all you got to do. That's not what they do though. Uh, yeah, they, they all just, tap out. Well, it's like be watching boxing and just throw throw in the towel in the eighth round every time. Like that's if you made it to the eighth round, oh, that would be something to see. Yeah, I could do it. I'm conditioned, man. I, I, I got thousand dollars <laughs> right now. Dude, I've already offered a ratio, and you won't even do yeah, that. Yeah, so. that's true. And you don't have a thousand dollars, Scotty. I've seen your house. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, kidding. Thousand dollars is fucking. Yeah. You seen that? You have uh, foundation sweet snowboard. There. I know. To yeah. fucking. I'm talking about sweet, getting a new one. Sweet snowboard over there, man. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, moving on, uh, we've got October baseball, which is probably the best time of the year. That's what I've been watching. Go I'm Phillies. sure. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's one nothing, and then t- right now it's at zero zero. But one nothing yeah, Phillies started. in the series, and I'm kind of pulling for the Diamondbacks. Uh, I know we got uh, the Phillies and the Diamondbacks. I'm pulling for Arizona. Uh, yeah. I, I don't have a real dog in that race. Uh, all I really know is I want the Rangers to beat the shit out of the yeah, Astros. For sure. I think they I might think sweep them. I, that would be so fucking up 2-0, awesome. They're right? 2-0. Yeah. Yeah. Right my, now. My Last night thing. they beat them by a run. Yeah. My new thing now, and I'm sure it's already been done because I don't fucking tweet or X or whatever, uh, is hashtag Houston, but with a W in the yeah. front of it, so yeah. it's Houston. Yeah. I, saw you, I saw your deal. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I saw your fucking deal. love yeah. that. That is awesome. But, wow. Uh, that's uh, yeah. good. I like it. I, I love it. Um, I am finally, I never thought I'd say this. I'm coming around on Bryce Harper. I kind of feel I the same way. I fucking hated him since the minor leagues when he blew the kiss at that pitcher. But the announcers put it perfect. There is not a better fit for a team for Bryce Harper than Philly. 100%. Just the way those fans are. And that was epic watching Arcia turn around and fucking make the face and the ears of the fans and shit and getting pissed. And, and then fucking Acuna's like, Hey, fucking calm down, dude, turn around, turn around. Like they 100% got in, in Atlanta's heads. Yeah, they did. And for them to blame it on the reporter, maybe just don't give bulletin board fodder. You dumbass. <laughs> like make sure nobody's in there. I think that's fucking epic. Yeah. Uh, so they, they collapsed. They did. They really did. I, I think the Braves and, and <clears throat> I have uh, we have a friend of the show who is uh, who's a Braves fan, uh, Justin Danger Nunnally. He called me uh, right before the game. He was in Vegas. He was he was like, "Hey, who do you got tonight?" And I was just like, "Man, I just." I just don't have a lot of confidence. Oh, oh we got, nice. Turner just but fucking we got, parked one. We got we got so-and-so on the bump. Yeah, I don't care. It's in Philly. Yeah. I just don't think so. And they were sure chanting enough. for Strider. <laughs> the the yeah, they They're were. like, we want Strider. <laughs> and then doing the fucking tomahawk chop. Dude, the <laughs> fuck? I love those fans. Anyways. <laughs> I love Philly fans. Can't wait for a good World Series. It's going to happen. Uh, but anyways, moving on to some college football, I wanted to give him a shout out because he's from on and he's from our area, and that is uh, Avery Johnson. Dude, he's killing it, dude. Yeah, five rushing touchdowns, impressive. I used to work with his mom. I I know. Yeah, I yeah. know. I'm so happy to see him do well, and I, hope I am he too. Does nothing but succeed. I I am too. And, and the fact is, he was gonna. I think they were gonna redshirt him. Uh, this is quarterback for K State. Sorry, I watched it. And, yeah, they were going to put him in last week is what the announcers were saying against Oklahoma State, but they thought it might be too hostile of an environment for him. And the stadium, I guess, is set up kind of weird, too, mm-hmm. like the end zone is. So they, th- they thought they'd give him a little bit of a look uh, this past weekend. And then he – I think he just took the starting job. I think so, too. I mean, he looked great. Yeah, he he did. didn't throw the ball a lot. I mean, he only – I think he only passed That's for like 70 yards. Yeah. But five fucking rushing – they said he's the fastest dude on the team already. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and uh, I mean, it seems like he's a pretty good kid. Everything I've heard from him, like Mark saw him whenever he was a kid. Dude, he's a great kid. Exactly. So he's not going to be a douchebag. Got a good head on his shoulders. All right. Go yeah. to town, dog. He's already done shit for, like, the community. When he was in high school, like, kids wanted to meet him, and he'd go – he went to some kid's, like, eighth birthday party or some yeah. shit. Like, it's fucking – it's unreal. He's a good dude. Uh, I like his family. Uh, I I hope he fucking kicks ass. I do too. Uh, but obviously, if we're talking about college football, there is one absolute <laughs> blunder we got to bring up, and that is Coach Prime doesn't look so Damn prime it, time man. anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, he blew a twenty nine to nothing. Twenty nine to nothing yeah. lead at halftime against Stanford in double overtime. Yes, I love that. Yeah. 
That's fucking great. Oh. That's fucking great. Like you, the double overtime is what's the best because you had a twenty nine nothing lead and you have let them beat back to fucking even, and then it takes you two overtimes to get beat. But you're out there on that field the whole time. You've got to feel like just dog shit. Dog shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think it's great. I mean, and granted, I, I, I be honest with you, I really, really like prime time. I do. Yeah. I, I saw. I, I mean, everything that he's trying to do to bring to the. You know, to the university and all the new recruits that he's already probably got. Yeah, it's it's going to change. Yeah, but the one the the thing that I don't like about Prime is all of these people who come with it who think that they're the best thing out there right now. So fuck them. What are you making a joke about? Nothing, man. Nothing. We know why you don't. We like know Prime. why you don't like them. Uh, oh fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are assholes. You don't have to. You don't have to tell us, man. I Anyways, just, I don't like the arrogance. That's what I don't like. Yeah, like, that's I like, what I like, I like the most. Actually, I like I like is, confident, but I don't like no, like, I like fucking showing. I love. I don't it. mind confident, but when you're fucking Neon, like showing Dion, your baby. showing your watch oh, and I shit, love it. And, I love it. He's always been that way, though, man. I know he has. Always. Man. So why? Ch- I'm glad he's not changing. No, he hasn't changed. I, I did like it. that SNL went it. after him. And yeah, oh, that yeah, was dude, the best. Well, who, who, well, where you're four and three. Yeah, well, there's, there's Texas. There's, there's like Oklahoma. Uh huh. Yep, you're right. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Uh, but no, I, the, the SNL skit is fucking fabulous. I think that's, that's, uh, who is it? Who did it? Kel? Keenan, Keenan Thompson. Keenan Thompson. Kel, Kel is not on. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I don't know. He's don't drinking orange that. soda somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Probably. Uh, but no, that's the best SNL skit he's done in probably a very long time. Kel is out with Jeremy Joseph somewhere, I think. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I never liked him. I Jeremy Joseph, kill. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know how you couldn't like him. I know, man. He loved grape so- or orange soda. Right? Grape soda. God, there he goes. Orange soda. There he goes. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. God uh, damn it. Freudian slip, perhaps. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Dude, speaking of which, man, I went to I went to lunch this past weekend with uh, Biggs and Wiz and Dan the Man. And Dan the man told me this story that had me almost fucking piss myself because <laughs> he was talking about how Dan for the, Dan's been on the show. Yeah, he has. Uh, Dan likes to do a lot of local stuff. Like yeah. he is all about support local, and he's the fucking nicest guy in the world. One hundred percent. And uh, if you he, don't like Dan the man, fuck you. He was with uh, his mom and his his girlfriend. And they were trying to figure out what to do that day, and so Dan pulls up like local Wichita, and he's like, oh cool like this looks neat it's like it was like a different different types of watermelon tasting that's what it was so they had like yellow watermelon orange watermelon i didn't know those were even types but i guess they are and so he's like so i'm like all right fuck it let's go it was watermelon and hot links and so he starts driving and they all hop in the car and he's like it was on it was a facebook event and he starts driving in the car, and he said they got to uh, it's they got to where like a hundred one thirty five and something, and he's like, uh, this isn't in the best of neighborhoods, <laughs> and uh, oh, but he's like, you know what, God. fuck it, we're committed, we're going right, and so he he it's in this bait shop, I guess or some shit bait shop slash feed store, and so he goes in and he's like uh, looking around, he's like, there's nothing in there that I would really want to buy, yeah. And he's like, so uh, do you guys, uh, you guys have like a, a, a watermelon tasting here? And they were like, oh no, that's that's been up, uh, that's up every year round. It shows up on there. We can we can probably go get one real quick. And he's like, no, 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 don't don't it do was that. Fake. So, no, they did it in the summer, but they never took like the event to expire down. So, so it's up like every Wednesday for the oh, here no. till yeah. They never put. We it can next. go find one if you want. Right. So Look then that. Wiz uh, and Wiz is a black dude. Wiz is hilarious. Wiz started dying laughing. He's like, I can't imagine you going into that place. You're like the only white dude in there with a bald head. <laughs> And you're like, hey, watermelon. You guys, uh, you guys got a watermelon tasting going on in here? Like the balls <laughs> to, to, to ask that question. I, dude, I was fucking dying. <laughs> I was dying. I was like, sure, seems like I might be. Yeah, right. sure just, seems like I'm in the right place, but I don't see any watermelon. Oh, uh, dude, I was fucking dying. Wiz fucking had me rolling. <laughs> In Big Spoke. <laughs> <laughs> and kudos to Dan for like committing. Like he yeah, stayed. Right. 
he stayed the course and he just like finally was like well i guess i'll see you guys later <laughs> oh my that's fucking fantastic sorry i know i went way off topic don't care it was 100 percent fucking funny ass story uh anyways all right so moving from that to uh the NFL, I don't have a lot. Uh, the only thing I really do have was uh, two of the best teams in the NFL did get beat. Uh, we had the Cleveland Browns beat San Francisco, and Brock Purdy got exposed. Um, then we had the – Showed his wiener, JP. Did you got, watch it? Yeah, he did. Said he got did you exposed. Not see it? Did you not see it? What? Yeah. Surely I can find it. Oh, yeah. I hear it's Purdy. Oh, I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Miles Garrett's He's got it hot. in his hand. It's – yeah, it's something he just tore the fuck off during the game. It's pretty crazy. Maybe he'll sell it to you. He might. He's he's on eBay. Hmm. Just saying. That's well, eBay. Uh, eBay. That's eBay. Yeah. eBay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's, that's a gay auction sale. Yeah. eBay. Yeah. eBay. Great. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, mainly, they just sell shower shots. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just shower sh- used shower shots. Shower shower shots and KY jelly. That's oh, it. God. That's it. Uh, anyways, uh, the New York Jets also end up beating the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I I I think the I think the Jets can actually last. Well, I well, mean, they built a team for fucking Aaron Rodgers. They did so. The team's good. They're, yeah, their They're, defense is I mean, solid. Yeah. And that's my so. old prediction. And just to put the cherry on top for Derek, uh, you know who was down on the field throwing passes without crutches or a limp? I saw it on TikTok. Aaron Rodgers. Yep. You shit. That was my prediction. Oh, shit. I think they may. Derek may get one right. Really? I he might. You, if you start thinking outside logical <laughs> like what should and shouldn't happen and you're like oh if this was rustling what would happen, <laughs> what would happen? and then you're like yep oh wait a minute all right i'm betting this i'm betting this i'm betting this true. yeah and that's, that's like so fuck true. i just want a 36 leg parlay yeah, yeah, yeah right and the detroit lions are now five and one yeah have you seen the i think they got really fucked on the new power rankings uh, nah, i don't No, i do nah they gotta play dude I think the best team that they've played is the team that beat them, and that would be the Seattle Seahawks. I think the that the Browns they, beat the 49ers. I get that. So it's the NFL, man. I don't give a fuck if you're playing the worst teams or the best teams. You've still got to play a solid fucking game to uh, win in the NFL. Period. I, I still think. Unless you're playing the Broncos. Yeah. And then that's a fucking. And buy. the fucking. The other fucking thing is, is they have the easiest schedule yeah, left that's to true. go. So they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah. I really oh, yeah. hope they get a playoff win. But I'm not one of. I'm not like a Chiefs fan. I'm not a delusional Cowboys fan. I'm not going to sit here and say, "Oop, they're going to fucking Super Bowl." I'm not going to say that. They already know who's going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. man, they wrote that a long time ago. Hey, Detroit would be a pretty good story. They've already got it figured out. Eminem is up in the uh, up in the the boxes now. He's got the his year own for that would have been a couple of years ago when he was doing the halftime. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but anyways, yeah, there's that. Uh, moving on, uh, there was actually something that the uh, a couple of listeners wanted to talk about, so I'll give them a shout out. It was Colton Selms and Jonathan Tovar. They wanted us to talk about uh, what we thought about NFL teams playing over in England or possibly having a team out of London. What do you guys think about that? You think good idea, bad idea, or indifferent? Well, I know Lord Stephen Regal in the WWE. I think he was from England. He was. They had the Iron Sheik. He was from Iran. He was Iran. Mm-hmm. Iranian. Iranian. Yeah. yeah. So I mean I think I think that that they could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about you over there, JP? <laughs> I mean, I guess it really comes down to is it is it feasible to get back and forth and not at all. You know no. what I mean? It's it's not. I mean, but there's okay, but it doesn't matter because at the in the end of the day, if the NFL thinks they can make a shit ton of money off of a deal, they'll do it. Exactly. They That's don't, they of, don't care who they inconvenience. They're, or. They're tr- they don't. The teams can figure it the fuck out. They don't care. They're trying to grow they're, their they're fan just base. Trying to, yeah, they're just trying to it's a money grab, man. I, I guess. 100%. I guess the team, like the London team, the team that they root for, at least a majority, I guess, is actually the Jacksonville Jaguars because they're there every year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they're also one of the closest teams to them as well. The Jets would be the closest. And the Giants. Mm-hmm. And so, but apparently they like Jacksonville more. Um, 
but I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, New England as well. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say maybe New England. I don't know my geography, but I know that that's close. Well, they're probably not going to be rooting for New England for for a while. Patriots. You they're know? just going to cross yeah. out the new. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. England. Uh, but no, I go just, England. I don't think it's. I don't think it's practical. I I just don't. I mean, you're going to end up having them be a yeah, part right. of. That's what I'm saying. The I don't. East Division of yeah. something, and every single travel is going to be the equivalent of you flying from New York to California for a home and away game. It's just not. It's just yeah. not practical. Um, if they want to, if, if the NFL wants to get more fans from over there, I think they're doing a great job with what they're doing. It's just pissing me off every Sunday when I have to watch a football game at nine o'clock in the fucking morning. You just don't do have what to I watch, do it. And don't watch yeah. it. Yeah. I, I, I want to watch it though. So that's, that's, it that's is what it is. because they did the script so well. It draws you in, draws mm-hmm. me in yeah. every exactly time. It. Yep. Uh, but there's that. So and anyways, is the undertaker going to come up from the middle of the 50 <laughs> yard line? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I do want to talk about this because there was a video of it that, that kind of went around, and that is, did you guys see the new Bigfoot video that came out? No. It was all over social media and TikTok, and it was a train. It was a video from a train, and there is a uh, what looks to be a person, definitely in a Bigfoot costume, going and just sitting down in the middle of the field. Now, the thing is, is this video, uh, apparently the area what, of what where- What kind of train are we talking? Like your like, sister train or choo-choo train? Choo-choo train. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyways, where this video was taken was out in the middle of nowhere. Like the closest like city or, or even like road other than the train tracks was like 30 miles away. So it was, it would be very weird for somebody to be playing a prank out there this far away from civilization or even a road. Um, but if you look at it, it looks blatantly like a fucking man in a, in a, Big foot costume. He, did he have a son's jersey on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been a dead giveaway. Dead and giveaway. he was dunking a basket. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think this Bigfoot thing's real or fake? Like, do you think Bigfoot exists now? No. We would have found him. JP? Don't. I have to say no, but... Yeah, okay. <sighs> I mean, I just think that yeah, we'd have found something by now. He's no. not. He's not that clever. Like, oh shit, people. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no. not doing that. No, he's not alive. He's not real. We have so many hunters. We have so many game trail cams. We got right. all this yeah. shit. At this point in time, not only do we know that Bigfoot exists. I mean, it's one thing. I think if like if you're talking about something that lives in the water, like we haven't experienced or we haven't uh, explored uh, other than like one percent of the ocean yeah. or some stupid percentage like that. Um, we've been a lot of places and, and hunters have their spots and shit. If somebody found something, uh, we'd know about it. I agree. So yeah, there's I that. think that thing would have wandered into town at some uh, point. Accidentally. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that motherfucker is going to want a Butterfinger sooner or later. Exactly. Right. right? Yeah. So no, he's going to go get some Jack links. Yeah. Right. Uh, my next one, our last one. Uh, the only reason why I'm bringing this up because God damn it, it would piss me off. But, uh, so Taylor Swift, the movie, she of- get it. The Eras Tour has now hit movie theaters. Dude, how dope is that, though? She's making so much so money. So much Billions. money. She's like, you know what? I don't have to be there this if I <laughs> just fucking make a movie of it exactly. and then charge for tickets. Exactly. Dude, it's brilliant. Well, and I, guess I love it. It's brilliant. She, what she did, she pissed the like the studios off because she went straight to AMC with this. Oh. So she cut out the studio. She cut the middleman out. So normally, let's say... The ticket price is $12. Uh, the studios would get eight. She would get four. Well, now she's getting like 10, and AMC is getting like two. Nice. And yeah, so she's making the, all that money is pretty much hers out of, off of all those Yeah, let's kick ass. That's pretty smart. Good for her, man. Yeah. But at the, at the same time, I love time, her. I, I, oh, I fucking hate her guts. Why? Oh, I'd fucking she's fucking amazing, dude. She does, she, she's a good person. She does a lot of stuff for a lot okay. of people. All right. Um, she treats the people that she, that, that made her who she is. She treats them sure. well. She fucking like, yeah, she's not she a takes, boss, no, she's a, a great person, yeah. man. So I guess, uh, did you ever know the person that like, if something became really, really popular, you hate it. They they just kind of shy you. away from it and push that's it all, push it away. Be that's like, you. no, I don't. Yeah, that's yeah, me. That's cool. Uh, and that's what that particular right. thing. Is. But no, more than anything, I I am more infuriated because first of all, I would never go to a movie theater to watch a concert. I would never do that. It's just not something I would ever do. I don't like going to a movie theater. Period. What about Stomp? Uh, Stomp. Okay, that's the only thing. Okay, that's that's it. That okay. Yeah, that's Ooh, it. That's um, other than Stomp, uh, but I would not go to a movie theater to watch a concert 
And if I did, and all of a sudden there was a shitload of little 10 year olds running up to the screen you and would dancing have to leave. Cause you can't be within 300. Right. Feet. Oh That's my God. Too. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm violating my probation. God damn it. No, I would be infuriated. And you have all of these parents that are taking these videos of all of these people in the movie theater. And then they, they like pan over to a couple who's sitting there watching the movie. Just not having a good time at all. What's, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> what's worse though, that or the people that show up like the Star Wars dressed in full fucking costume? Oh yeah, I would totally dress up in costume at a Star Wars movie. That's worse. No, that's way worse. Absolutely not. I f- geared. She's geared toward ten year old. Star Wars isn't geared to like forty year old yes, adults. It is. To yes, wear, it is. Oh, to wear fucking is. Cos- yes. cosplay. Yes, ah, yes it is. is it's one hundred percent. Don't argue with this. This is exactly what they did. Ugh, Anytime no. that they did like a reboot of any movie like that, like Jurassic Park, it was all. All callbacks for previous movies of when you were a kid. But that's, I don't show up to Jurassic Park dressed like a goddamn Velociraptor. That's because you're not fucking committed. That's right. <laughs> and you're not as cool as me yeah, and JP. JP right. would dress up, I guarantee like, go it. Go to the fucking Darth concession Maul, stand. Darth uh, Maul. I hate Star Wars. Oh, uh, okay. I just lost a bunch of fans. <laughs> go to the concession stand. Yeah, can I get a raw chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys got raw chicken. Uh, preferably still alive. Mm, well, fine. <laughs> Jurassic Park's being re-released. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, you, you just come walking in with a goat. Yeah. 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 Pardon me. <laughs> Good shit. All right. Well, that is this week's current events. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff of the show, which everybody else is really uh, more or less here for. Uh, but let's move on to overrated or underrated. We did have a couple of suggestions from you guys uh, for these segments. Um, I'm trying. If you guys have made a suggestion for one particular thing uh, and it did not get said on the show, take that as if it's really good. If it's really good, I I, I have it. I, I copy and paste it uh, to a little file I have. But if, um, if we don't use it, don't keep sending those because... Yeah, we've either already done it before or... J- or it's trash. Or JP really didn't like it. Yeah. So that's that's that. I'm and, the uh, shooter downer. We all know that. <laughs> it's totally yes. true. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, we've got one for overrated or underrated from a listener. This comes in from Twitter. This is a good one. Yeah. Um, I just misread it. <laughs> okay. I combined it with the second one, and I was like, peeing on boobs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> underrated. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's like a piss luge. Uh, this comes in from Twitter. This is from Ian underscore smoke PW. Uh, he wants to know overrated or underrated peeing in a bottle. So you don't have to stop on a road trip. Underrated. Oh, way underrated. I pee in a bottle in my room now. <laughs> oh so I don't God. have to walk down the stairs. That's just cause you don't have running and water. Then go back up to the bath. Like my room, two flights of stairs. Kitchen, living room, hallway, and up two more flights of stairs, bathroom. Uh huh. And I'm so the I fat just one. Fucking pee in a bottle. <laughs> <That makes sense. laughs> ah, just get my piss bottle. Yeah. Somebody bring me my shit bucket. Your bathroom is right next to your bed anyway, so you don't have to go down any stairs. I go downstairs all the time. I, I watch TV. I do everything in the basement. Okay. No, but for real, uh, underrated, underrated for a car trip for uh-huh. sure. How yeah. You, Derek, over. I've never pissed in a bottle. Ever. What? <laughs> I, only I pissed drink. in someone's drink once, oh, boy. <laughs> but that was uh, that was different. Yeah, that was different. <laughs> that was that was not because I had to go. No, it's because I asked him to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Jesus! But yeah, I've, I've, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say overrated on that. I've never done that, you but know. I will also not. I just won't piss. Like yeah. when we flew to Italy, it was like 18 hours of travel. I didn't piss. So imagine you have to piss harder than you've ever had to before, uh-huh. ever, and you have to go. Uh, nobody's letting you go to the bathroom. Would you pee in a bottle? No. no. I'd stop on the side of the road, hang my dick out, take a leak, let's go. <laughs> hang Done my that. dick out my <laughs> ass. Done that. Your dick ain't hanging nowhere, the fuck, man. It's not. The motherfucker barely. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like no. a Tic Tac. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Uh, he said, I'll just hang it out the window. <laughs> no, no, not out the window. I'll pull it over. <laughs> sipping my fucking yeah, dick out. Fly, way, yeah, well, yeah, right. I'm not pissing hard. Of course, it's flapping in the wind. Oh, shit. Uh, you're on the wrong road trip then, bud. Uh, <laughs> to not have a Did I accidentally I hit the washers? <laughs> yeah, no shit. 
Uh, all right. So next one, overrated or underrated, a woman with three boobs. Now, you would think I would go fucking overrated, but let me tell you something that you don't know much about gay guys. We love tits. <laughs> we love boobs. So that's way underrated. Okay. I think all women should have three boobs. Why three? Why not? Better than two. It is company. Yeah. Three, three is, is company. company. Yeah. 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 Rest in peace, Suzanne Summers. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. That's the first chick I ever wanted to bone. Really? I was six. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That goddamn Thigh Master commercial, man. I'm like, man, I am mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to bone Suzanne Summers when you were six? I was probably seven. Okay. What about Miss Furley? Do you like her? Who's the, the fuck fucking that? the guy, you know, the fucking guy that rents from the place? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know what that yeah, is. I never right. watched Dries Company. Oh, you never I, did. I knew her from the Thigh Master commercial and Step by Step later down the road. Oh yeah, Step by Step. My, I watched the shit out of Step by Step. Mine was mine was the Pink Ranger. Who was yours, JP? The first girl I ever wanted to fuck. Yeah. Do you have one? Probably Tiffany Amber Thiessen. That's yeah. a good one. Yep, that's a good one. That's That'll, the one I. Yeah, that's still my all time. Yeah. yeah, but that's probably. Have you seen her now? She'd still. Oh, oh my dude. gosh. She's like Jennifer Aniston. She keeps oh, getting yeah. hotter and hotter. Hotter and hotter. Yeah, aged yeah. It's wine. weird. I'm sorry. We were talking about a woman with three boobs. That chick um, could lose a limb and I'd still go after uh, it. One hundred percent. Yeah. Uh woman with three boobs. I, I I'm gonna I love boobs. I love boobs, but yeah, uh three three's just weird. That makes me feel like you're a farm animal more than you are a human. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go overrated. There. Uh, three boobs, no. Three arms, yep. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the third arm do? Uh, Dude, tickles, she tickles can, my balls. Oh, she okay. can cook and do the dishes at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it's going to expedite all kinds of shit. Nice. Okay. I feel I, like I'm fucking half a Hindu god. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, Hindu god that got in a bus accident <laughs> and now plays in a band. <laughs> she can play multiple She's instruments. a drummer. Oh, is that what she <laughs> Nice. Yeah. All right, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Statistically validated stereotypes. Scotty? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you go first, Scotty. <laughs> uh, statistically validated, though. Well, I mean. They're underrated. They're hilarious. They are fucking hilarious. Listen, I don't give a shit. It's a joke on the show of me being racist. That's fine. My best friend. My best friend is a black guy, and anytime we meet somewhere and he is late, it is an absolute hilarious joke that every single time he's there, he's just like, dude, I'm on CPT. What do you expect? Yeah, so yeah. I think I think correct stereotypes are fucking hilarious. It cracks, I agree. It cracks me up every time. 100%. So whatever. The worst car accident I ever got into was an Asian guy running a red light and fucking <laughs> plowing into me. Uh, and he hit your car. Yeah, right. And he hit my car. Yeah, plowed Dude. right into you and, then, and he hit your car. And then those motherfuckers tried to put us in the same ambulance. Oh, I lost my shit. <laughs> Did you? Oh, I lost my shit. I believe I was it. fucked up, man. I don't. I mean, I was messed up. It was. It was a bad accident. I'm glad you made it. Okay. And uh, I was like, my insurance isn't paying for his stupid ass to ride. He fucking ran a red light and hit me. And then I. I didn't know. I didn't know who he was. I hadn't seen the guy. I looked over and he was Asian. And I just shut up. <laughs> I just laid back down. I was like, whatever, man. This can't. Oh, God. Of course. How about you, Derek? I'm gonna say underrated. Yeah. Also, uh, it made me a lot of money as a server. Yeah, right. <laughs> one hundred. I knew who to bring A one and Tabasco for for medium or for medium rare steaks. Yep. I knew. I mean, it was. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I made a lot of money off of that. I knew exactly what drinks to suggest. I knew. Yeah. <laughs> I knew how to build my tickets. Up. There, and there's no, no. We didn't have that, but I knew what to oh, suggest. Oh shit! Crevassier or cognac? <laughs> cognac. Cognac. Meet you. Meet you. Made, actually, we Fuck. did it when I worked at Applebee's. They, I, I remember oh, ordering. We, they did have Hennessy. We made Hennessy daiquiris. Dude, I'm telling. Dude, yeah. it, I don't know. Dude, I, I have no idea. We were hanging out with my boys, and Elena, uh, my wife, was hanging out with us, and she had. She, she she had Hennessy for the very first time. Yeah. 
it's a different drunk. It fucked her up nice. bad. It was oh man. Oh, I'm curious. I'm curious if any of our listeners know who orders a one in Tabasco for their steaks because mm. that was like. Now, granted, this was 20 years ago, but it was like fucking clockwork every time. And anytime I had a teenager come in, uh, it was always like fucking cheese sticks or kids' chicken fingers or yeah. Yeah, some, some young dumb girl. Or me. And white people were the only ones that ordered fajitas. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> right. Only white people would right. order fajitas. Yeah. So ster- stereotypes, at least in the co- in the comedy scene, it, it, there's no ill intentions. It's just it makes things funny. Some to of me. it's observational. Yeah, yeah it, it's great. So I think it's it's way underrated. I always wanted to do a bunch of shit. I think I've talked about it on the show before. Just inaccurate stereotypes. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. That'd be funny. Like my Absolutely. favorite one I ever did was all black people love the band Creed. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows they love Creed. Oh, uh, that's good shit. <laughs> Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Making a sex tape. Uh, overrated. That'll get out. <laughs> uh, I know. I Google them daily. <laughs> yeah, that will. Like, has Taylor Swift made one yet? No. Nope. All right. Mm, yeah. Tomorrow's another day. Uh huh. Um, this is this is so overrated for me. I don't want to see myself having sex. Ever. That's ever. Ever, ever. I don't want to see. I want to, I definitely want to do the thing, but I don't want to go back and look at me doing something where in my head, I think I look absolutely great. You're but, wrong. I can tell you that right but now. But I'm fucking wrong 100% of the time. Yeah, so. so that's, I would say 20 years ago. Yeah. Underrated. Sure. Now, overrated. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like the way I sound yeah. on a voicemail. Like, really? Let alone the way I look fucking. Yeah. You don't even like to have your picture taken. No, I don't. So the next uh, next week's Monday Fun Day, I, yeah, I wanted nice. to make sure that you're in the picture. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, my God. That was the hardest fucking thing to find. To find it's just a, a decent picture of, picture of Derek. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyways. My wife makes me take them, and I don't like it. I know. Had to cut her out. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Can I have that one? <laughs> 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 good stuff uh, you know if Taylor Swift made a sex tape I think it would be called The Era's Whore <laughs> God give me the dunch okay give me the rim shot there we go there you go or the crickets either way no yeah. the whore yeah. oh. I like that one better that one's better anyway uh, and last one overrated or underrated female police officers Way underrated. Really? Yes. Way overrated. Wow. Okay. Okay. Different Way ideas. Way overrated. Okay. F- you know I don't like lesbians. <laughs> 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 uh, Enough said. I'm excited. Go ahead, Derek. Huh? I've known a few. Have you? Yeah. I'm Me friends too. With one. I'm friends with one right now. Okay. And they're awesome. Yeah. 100%. And her and I her think- girlfriend. Are they both real cool? No, they're not lesbians. No, they are. Yeah. No. No, 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 they are. But uh, no, they've been, they're awesome people. And yeah, I, 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 I'm going to say underrated. They also don't have that fucking God complex like uh, a lot. The ones I know don't that a lot of the dudes do. So, hmm. so short, short man syndrome. No, that's just what I have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, so I, we are actually friends with, uh, with, a, a female cop, like couple. It's actually really kind of funny. And her husband fucks with her all the time. And I love it. She, he uses our sound bites all the fucking time. And, uh, she is some form of police officer and their whole situation. I absolutely love. So I have to say underrated for her in particular, but I don't like cops. So overrated all around. Uh, but yeah, that is overrated or underrated. Uh, now we get to move on to JP's favorite segment. And that is, that's where I draw the line. All of these are suggested from Monday fun day. Um, so we're gonna kick this off with the first one coming in from Facebook, Tyler Freeman, he wants to know how far is too far to have to drive to work. Well, being a, like having gone out as a comedian, it's okay. I mean, that's all I, I've driven twelve no, hours a, before. Like work. Yeah, yeah, that day. was work, yeah, asshole. That's, I got. That's fun. You know what? Go fuck yourself. It was work. <laughs> no, Trust but seriously, your daily your daily job, like it, Monday through Friday, nine to five. 
How far are you willing to drive? I used to drive to Hutch, so an hour. So that's an hour. Yeah. You think that was too long? I think that was. Ju- I don't think. I, <clears throat> I don't. I wouldn't have liked it to be much longer than that. Let's say. Let's just cut it at an hour. Okay. It wasn't bad. See, it got old. But I'm sure. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. Like whenever you get off of, I work, like driving. I do too. And it makes me like I. I like to think. Yeah. Exactly. I mostly like to drive at night. Like really like. 2 30 to 4 30 in the morning yes because nobody else is on the roads right crank the music <clears throat> fucking smoke a couple bowls on the way home sure no no while i'm driving around yeah because i'm white and i fucking drive a <laughs> fucking chevy cruise i'm not getting pulled over yeah um i dude i, I for the longest time uh, for, for instance like i used to live outside of town it used to take me 30 minutes to get to work every single day uh, and now I live very close, mm-hmm. very, very close to, to where I work now. Um, but the big thing is, like, I have noticed whenever I lived far away, my wind down time was perfect. 30 minutes to drive home and wind down was great. Um, if I did like 45 minutes to an hour, though, I'd say that'd be a little bit much. So I'm going to say 30 minutes is my cutoff. That's where I draw the line. Derek? About twenty, probably twenty is yeah. max. Yeah, i've I've never had to drive that far now. If you and it also depends, like what what do you do if you're making one hundred and fifty grand a year? Fuck an hour and a half. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, right. But if I'm yeah, if I'm making like thirteen bucks an hour, yeah. twenty minutes. Because <coughs> yeah. you, you did work uh, pretty far away. Though, I for worked a at the while. casino for yeah. a little bit, and that I was about a thirty five minute drive. Yeah. And that sucked, man. And it racked the miles up on my fucking car. That's like, true. Yeah. Plus, you're paying all that for gas. I was paying tolls. No, I was going to say turnpike yeah. fees alone. Yeah. So fucking like, ridiculous. Fuck I agree. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's a good point. Uh, next one comes in from Twitter. This is from Andrew Otter. He wants to know, when is it too early to start playing Christmas music? The December 1st is when you should start to play. That is 100% correct. Yeah. Even One let Thanksgiving 100%. get over. I, yes. No. I think December 29th. That's when you start playing Christmas music? Why? That's when Christmas is over. Right. So you like it year round? You get, you get, yeah. You start playing on the 29th and you can play all the way to next <laughs> Christmas. I love Christmas music. Wow. If I could, if the world stopped listening to everything except for Christmas music, that would be awesome. Wow. I'm actually kind of shocked. Yeah. You are just blaring Mariah Carey, aren't you? Oh, I love that one. I'm yeah, sure yeah. you do. All I want for Fuck Christmas that. I, is no. you. It's not. And you know what? I think like if you go all the way, the all of December, I'm dead serious. If you want to play Christmas music from, from December 1st all okay. the way to the t- the 31st, I don't give a shit. Okay. But if you start playing Christmas music during during Halloween season, I want to fucking like m- come after you. Like that is awful, and it pisses me off more because I know no actual human does that. But the fucking like uh, retail stores that are oh, trying to sell they Christmas, Christmas shit, shit right now. fuck yeah, you. Do. You need to stop. So that is where I draw the line. It is December first. That's when you get to do All that. Right. Uh, you got Elf on a shelf right next to Chucky right now. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah, right. shit. It's stupid. Okay, next one. Uh, this also comes in from Facebook. This comes from Will Gonzalez. He wants to know, at what age should someone stop trick-or-treating? I still trick-or-treat. I was just getting ready to say, is there one? Because I still do it. I just do it in, like, August. <laughs> right. Yeah. right, you do. And people get fucking At pissed. Walmart. <laughs> yeah. People get very mad. Yeah. They're just like... No. Trick-or-treat. What the fuck is this fat vampire doing at my <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's definitely an age. I want to drink 12. a beer. That's mine. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. I'd once say you, right around 11 or 12. When you become a teenager, stop that shit. Yeah, okay. Whenever you are older than that, that's why they have things called Comic-Con. You can go and dress up and do whatever the fuck you want there. Or go watch Star Wars at the movie theater. Or right. do, <laughs> go watch Star right. Wars at the movie theater. Mm-hmm. You're, totally. You're, you're not yeah. allowed to tell people not to be in costume. Uh, and then yeah. be anti, like, not dressing up to go watch Star Wars. Go be a velociraptor at a Jurassic Park showing near you uh next one this comes in from twitter this is from brady harrington he wants to know how many beers can you drink and still be able to drive home all of them this is a subjective <laughs> question yeah, right i was <laughs> gonna say all I mean, of the beers yeah uh, now 
well. Right. <laughs> I've done it on 12 <laughs> beers. I've yeah. done it on three beers. Yeah. I've done it on a case. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Believe me, we're not telling you to do any of this is what mm. we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it just, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. you can shut so, one eye. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a good trick. The one my favorite trick was like if I started to swerve, I just turn my signal on. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's everybody's move. Legs. That's everybody's yeah. fucking move. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody and, does that. And the yeah. best time to do it is if the roads are really shitty. Shitty, yes. yeah. Because you can just drive in the middle, and you're like, "Fuck it, I can't see the markers." <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. Yeah. So, like now, now I wouldn't drink more than three beers. Like if I drink three beers, I, that's where I stop. Uh, but could I at one point in time have seven or eight and still drive home? Sure. I sure could. Oh yeah. On a regular basis. Sure did oh, yeah, on a regular sure. basis. So yeah. that's, yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go with where you should. And that is after three, you know, you know, somebody take you home. Uh, Derek, I'm sticking with all of them. I'm yeah, sticking with all of them. I can drink all of the beers I and concur. still drive. Yeah. Yeah. I concur. yeah. And uh, JP, you concur. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. All right. Sorry, Brady. Hope we were giving you some good advice. <laughs> <clears throat> um, next one, last one. Uh, this comes in from Facebook. Braxton Lint. He wants to know how soon is too soon to make a joke after a tragedy? There's no such thing. So here's the thing, man. No, you're wrong. No, he's right. No, I stand by Derek in this in this 100. percent That you stand by Derek. Huh? I stand. This okay. is this is the That's hill I'll damn. die on. This is it. This is the one it's I'll pretty die big on. Hill. I mean, it it is. <laughs> Um, it's got to support Derek. I can't believe he's standing next to you just I'm in just, case you were to topple down. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be done. Here's the thing. Here's the thing and why I believe Derek is 100% correct. There have been people who have buried children, and their only way to cope with that kind of shit is to joke about even that. It is It is maybe not a joke for you. It is still a joke for somebody. If it's a joke about, listen, the day I die, if you guys want to make jokes about oh, me. Oh, jokes, my please, dude. I would, would do. You, <laughs> I would never joke about the day you died. I'd be too busy celebrating. There you go. (laughs) See? I joked about my dad dying on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. So, And that was the worst day of my life. Now, I didn't, not on that day, but yeah. I mean, fuck. But, I mean, it's. Now I'm the only one that can make jokes about that or I'll get mad, but. Yeah. 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 I I mean, seriously, if we want to start making jokes about, like, Israel and Palestine and and all that shit. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Go for it. It's it. Even though it happened a couple of days ago or whatever, just joke about it. It's okay. The whole thing is the intent. Yeah. What is the intent? Yeah. If you is, mean it, if you like, if you one hundred percent fucking right, yes. mean it, then it's like, well, that's kind of a dick move. Yes. If you're just if you're just trying to make a joke out of the situation, okay. yes, I'll, I'll agree with you. There. That is the okay. whole part. That's I'll the thing. You. If you're just saying something to be mean, that's one thing. If the intent is to be <laughs> funny and it just lands flat, then that's still the yeah. no intent. I don't know why that what whatever you just said made me think of this, but I had a guy. Okay, this is totally off topic, I don't kind care. of. But there was a guy that came into the restaurant today, and I waited on him, and I fucking, the dude looked so familiar. He asked me my name. I told him my name. You know, I used to work at Quick Trip forever. You know, that's, I, I you know, know a lot of people from that. I I bowl. I just, we just went through all kinds of things. How would I know this guy? And, but every time he talked to me, he would end it with brother. Like, okay. Thanks, brother. Was it Hulk Hogan? Let me go get. <laughs> yeah. But dude, but it wasn't like that kind of brother. It's, it was more like, a, let's go hang some people in the forest tonight, brother. Oh, like you know oh, what I mean? Shit. Like, thank you, brother. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And at, at first, I took it as the fucking Hulk Hogan yeah. brother. But the every time. Maybe and the, he long, was gay the more too. times, no, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Any Let's parent, go suck some dick, brother. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think that was it. But yeah, I think he was trying to recruit me. Mm. But uh, wow, it was crazy. That's anyway, it. I don't know why that made me think of that. I have no idea either. Crazy, because uh, you know what? Probably the marijuana, that or the tragedy, the whole tragedy. The whole tragedy. That, tra- that, that was, it was a tragedy. A tragedy yeah, dude. that could be. Yeah. So uh, that is that's where I draw the line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, let's see. First one: a new slogan for condoms. Condoms. So it may, so it feels like you're being fucked by a balloon animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking gross, JP. 
Uh, condoms. Stop making stupid people. Condoms. I never use them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Derek. Uh, condoms where cream pies die. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, next question. Terrible fortunes found in a fortune cookie. All of them, because they <laughs> never come true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Have I've you had ever some... had one come true? Yeah. Yeah? I know. Really? Yeah. Okay. I go to a, a Chinese restaurant. They're the fortune cookies that don't, aren't really fortunes, and they just say really stupid things in the fortune cookie. I had one one time that said, I'll be right back. <laughs> To which I had another fortune cookie, and there it was. There it was. Okay. <laughs> so there you All go. right. Derek? Uh, you should get that mole checked out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's a good one. Uh, let's see. I would like to talk to you about your car, car insurance. Car insurance. Yeah, yeah, that one's good. Yep. Uh, next question. The new Disney parody porno movie. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> that's it? Okay. Are the dwarves like... Oh, they're banging Snow White. For sure. All seven of them. Absolutely. Oh, God, it reminds me of a time in Oklahoma City. (laughs) Oh, that's Uh, wrong. (laughs) That's wrong. Oh, I love being Snow White. Yep. Um, Beauty and the bestiality. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Derek? I have a few of them. (laughs) Uh, One that was actually a Disney movie, Holes. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Yeah. I also have uh, Monster Cox, Inc. There you uh, go. One for JP, Boy Story. Oh, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, yeah. Poke Her Hot Ass. <laughs> uh, anal in the Outfield. Oh, God. Uh, Hocus Pocus. <laughs> uh, the Cocketeer. Uh, the Mighty Cucks. I like that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a way to end it. I said anal in the outfield. Didn't you I? did. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember hearing yeah. that. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. The Mighty Cucks is my favorite. Like yeah, that. that's a good yeah. one. They yeah. made three of those, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. And uh, next question rejected names for a lesbian bar. I think the Mighty Cucks would just be like. <laughs> Some fucking beefed up cuck dude, and then like some eighty five pound dude Pound-dude just banging just his banging wife with yeah. a tiny wiener. Yep. His tiny dick feels so much better than your big strong one. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, next question: Rejected names for a lesbian bar. The Scissored Clam. <laughs> okay. The Birkenstop. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. good. Uh, lipsticks and bowls. I was going to say lipstick and flannel. Oh, okay. All right. I like it. I like your Birkenstocks, though. I think that's... Birkenstock. Oh, yeah. Birkenstop. Yeah. yeah. Flanelgans. <laughs> Irish. Flanelgans. Flanelgans. <laughs> it's for Irish <laughs> lesbians. Irish lesbian. <laughs> Flanelgans. I like that. Uh, can you do an Irish accent? I've already done an Irish accent. Can you do it again. It. Come on down to Flanelgans. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where do the pussy eat you back? That's right. <laughs> Fucking love it. All right. And last but certainly not least, uh, I'm having the worst day ever. Hashtag blank. Still doing this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Very That's good. Mine. I'm having the worst day ever. Hashtag hemorrhoids. Hell yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, sure mm-hmm. is. Uh, <laughs> you got to use really good lube when you got hemorrhoids. Oh, stop it. Stop. That's disgusting. Derek. Uh, I'm having the worst day ever. Hashtag accidental circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, youch. Uh, One time geez. I got some for See right there in my teeth. I got uh, that gap. One time I got some foreskin cotton there. Yeah. He did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> then it was before skin. He yelled, he, yelped, <laughs> yeah, he yelped like a dog. It wasn't good. It was before skin and it after skin. It was before skin. skin and after skin. How come when yeah. dudes get bumps on their wiener, it's not called his piece? <laughs> <laughs> I do have one more. Yeah. I do have one more. Okay. Uh, I'm having the worst day ever. Hashtag munting. Yep. That was yep. my last one. Good one. one. Yeah. I think hashtag munted. Munted. Yeah. Munted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Past tense. Yeah. <laughs> You're the guy getting munted. Yeah. Oh, anyways. Ooh. 
<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Uh, again, every single Monday, we have Monday Fun Day. Come to my Munted talk. <laughs> <laughs> and you can make suggestions for Derek to use munting in sentences and all kinds of other things um, for every single episode. So check that out on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines or on Twitter and Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. You know, we had that one dude, your buddy, what's his name? Litsky. Yeah. He said that he used a different term. Yeah. Like, what did he say it was? I don't know. For He's like, for the last 25 years, I've been calling it Munting is 25 years old? <laughs> <laughs> that was where I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, man. that's been a thing for 25 years. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. I can't believe you're friends with him. Uh, you know, acquaintances. Oh, acquaintances, yeah. yeah. He's no, a bowler. No. That's how I know him. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's all right. He's a good bowler, actually. I, I believe it. Uh, but anyways, uh, you guys just look like bowlers, let's just say. The athletic okay. physique that you guys have right look on. like bowlers. Yeah, you want to talk about physiques, man. You're not even tall enough to have a physique. Shut up. Okay. Damn. Uh-huh. Uh, get anyway. him, JP. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> anyways, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines. And uh, I got my ass kicked last week. I didn't I didn't get any votes no, last week. You didn't. You could have. If I could have just put you there and didn't say anything, you would have beat me. Yeah, so uh-huh. that's okay. That's all right. Not everybody wins every single time, except for if you're fucking Derek or Jeremy. Yeah. That's the way it works. Fuck both of them. <clears throat> Uh, All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Except with uh, Jeremy. Uh, But anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, thank you to all you guys who voted. Now we get to move on to this week's draft. Uh, JP gets first pick because he wasn't here. I get the sandwich picks. And Derek gets the champion picks. That's what he does. Because he's a champion. Whatever. I'm like Coach Prime. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, this week's draft is a very good draft. This I watch to the camera. Yeah, this actually is a draft suggested by a listener from Monday Funday, and it is from a Mr. Adam Russell. Uh, speaking real quick. Oh, oh, I, yeah, that's I right. have something I want to I want to address that was postpone in, the draft for just a second. Just a second. So I, I I was looking at the things that you were af, af, asking for like suggestions and stuff. Yeah, and, and Keith Litsky uh, had one. Uh, which you, I think you said we've already done on the show. We've already done bidets. Uh, but he said overrated or underrated bidets. And then he proceeds to say, I just recently installed a $500 one in the bedroom, and it's the greatest thing ever, underrated as fuck. Why didn't you put it in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because Why? everybody knows that they're better like, in the bedroom. Yeah, I guess. It's like, well, hell, Jesus Christ, I can't get a squirter. I'm just going to put a bidet in there here. There you go. There you go. Sit on this, honey. <laughs> just shit on the floor. Why? You God. know, I would have went with the bathroom. Yeah, that's that's me. So, you know, I got this urinal in the kitchen. <laughs> and well, That seems like it would be convenient. <laughs> yeah, really would be, you know. Anyways, all right. not when it's right next to the garbage disposal. <laughs> I had a urinal in the kitchen once. Did you? I called him Brad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is fucking <laughs> gross. <laughs> okay. Anyways, moving Where on were we? to this week's draft. Uh, this is a fun draft. Um, like I was saying, this comes in from Adam Russell. Made a suggestion for this draft, and uh, I like it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is going to be a hardware store battle royale. Okay? That means all three of us are in a hardware store, and we get to draft only items we would find in the hardware store okay. to use as weapons to fight each other. Okay. Okay? Okay. Deal. Uh, and JP, buddy, you get the very first pick. I feel like I have to go with Chainsaw. That's perfectly fair and fine. my name's Jason. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean... I feel like I have to, to go chainsaw. I did not even put that together. I did. So You're welcome. Good for you. Yep. Uh, because you motherfuckers, I'm going to have the only thing you can shoot at each other, and that is a fucking nail gun. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nail gun's good. Well, nail you gun's better draft an air compressor. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No it comes with a compressor. No, no, it don't. No. 
You got to draft that separately, buddy. And you can kind of get. You can also get ones that are just. I'm gonna go ahead and go with air compressor. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Fuck your nail gun, <laughs> bitch. Now Scotty's like, I can uh, throw nails. Nice, dude. <laughs> I, I like. How, I like how you blocked him. Okay. I like it. That's bullshit. Rip Taylor for the block. It's, it's, it's crazy that you did that because I've got a double one here. <laughs> I'm going to have to draft both. Okay. Well, you get two picks back to back. I did not have such a uh, <laughs> such a gift like and that. And now you've got a fucking nail gun it's, with it's no a, compressor. They're heavy. Yeah. They're heavy. Yeah, you could throw it at us. I could throw it. Good call. Oh, Anyways. Shit. Mm. All right, Derek, and what's your Scotty what's your second draft. pick? I'm going to go with a weed whacker. Okay, a weed whacker. All right. He's going to need an extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> no, just come near me, motherfucker. Yeah, it's one of those battery-powered <laughs> yeah, ones. Yeah, okay. exactly. They make battery-powered yeah. nail guns, too. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Fuck. I've never seen those. I haven't either. They even make ones where you just, like, slam it, and it, no, it, it makes those, a stud. But. So, but anyway. Um, all right, fine. If you guys are going to do that, <laughs> you bitches. I'm going to lose with Eric. Have your fun. Yeah. No. People Dude, I think that might be why you win. <laughs> I do too, actually. If they actually listen to the show, I think that's uh, <laughs> it's a great pick. Yeah, I'm okay. So next pick. <laughs> a compressor. Put a dick. <laughs> I'm going to have a compressor. No, uh, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have a, uh, a hatchet. A hatchet. I'm going to have a hatchet. Because you don't need an air compressor <laughs> for a hatchet. I can throw those, you bitches. Okay. Now I'm going to go with a flint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hatchet. JP, you get two in a row. Okay. So this, I'm going to target Derek because <laughs> okay. I'm going to cut you up with the chainsaw, but now this, I'm going after Derek. All right. Fair enough. A rat poison and a Snickers bar. <laughs> <laughs> so that is back to back. Back to back picks. Yeah. Those okay. are my two. Those are your two. Because you can't kill them with a Snickers bar unless you put rat poison in I it. Understand. I understand. You rather... fucking throw a fucking rat poison Snickers bar out into the middle of an aisle. I promise you. I don't. Derek's gone. I'm telling you right now, you that fuck, you just fucked yourself because I would rather eat rat poison than the Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate snickers well i doubt that uh, doesn't look like it well i almost want you to pick the rat poison and snickers bar as one pick but it's two different things what do you think Derek? that's two things Is i've got two? an air compressor you can <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean that's two. Oh, you that's have to have them both fine <sighs> okay uh the next one i'm i'm very excited about uh this one a lot because I'm going to use them like ninja stars. I'm going to use saw blades. Where are you going to have to because you don't have an air compressor? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you Anything guys. Anything that you have now, you're going to have to throw. That's fine. That's cool. All right, I'm, saw blades. Saw Very blades, good. yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Fucking dickhead. I'm, I'm hoping you mean like circular saw, not bandsaw. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what? Of course. You're just walking around with bandsaw blades. That yeah. doesn't seem very... Circular saw blades. Okay. That's my pick. Very good. Yep. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. I'm going to go with a chain. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they got the big fucking heavy ass yeah, yeah. chains. You could barely lift them. Right. Fucking That's thing. what I was the Fuck, I can't. Have all the chain you want. Yeah, yeah you can do it. Fucking whale that thing around like I'm the junkyard I'm dog. I'm surprised Scotty didn't pick chains and bed sheets. <laughs> Look out for his next big pick rope. Nope. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with a box knife. A oh, box that, you can take down a whole plane with one of those. I know they did it in 9-11. <laughs> yeah. I know that they work. They're very efficient. Yeah, good call. Like close combat bullshit. Like, here we go. Well, I know you're going to try and jujitsu me, Scott. Hey, <laughs> so I think he's going to try right. to kill you first so you can get your air compressor. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm, I'm safe for do. a little while. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, Let's see. I got a whole lot of like bludgeoning weapons and stuff like that. I'm trying to think because apparently I can't shoot anybody. So fuck that. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with the sledgehammer. Okay, sledgehammer. That's something he won't be able to lift. You got a chain, bitch. I know it's gonna swing around. Yeah, momentum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's biatch. gonna plug his chain into his air compressor and then That's you're right. fucked. <laughs> yeah, then what are you gonna get? <laughs> Okay, uh, JP, you get two in a row. My last two? These are your last yeah. two. Pickaxe. Okay. Definitely a good one. That what is a good one. What hardware store sells a pickaxe? The ones in Alaska. Oh, yeah, yeah a lot of they them. They do. They're you can everywhere. get one at Lowe's right now. Okay. Yep. And uh, Flex Seal. 
(laughs) (laughs) That'll work. All right. Um, I am going to get shit. I've got I've got a couple here that I think I can use. You better pick wheelbarrow, otherwise we'll never get Derek out of there. <laughs> <laughs> That's just to move Derek's right. big body. Um, no, I think before or after Scotty tries to munt it. <laughs> yeah, after. Uh, I I think I think actually I think I got this figured out. I am going to get. If you got it figured out, you'd have picked air compressor before you picked me. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't, you bitch. I couldn't. He took it. Uh, I think I'm going to go with. I'm voting for Derek. I'm That's go, how much I love that. I'm going to go with a 50-gallon drum of epoxy. Okay. okay. Yep. I'm going to make you guys, like, stick to something. Gonna, you aren't going to be able to move. You're going to have to Donkey Kong it. Yeah, exactly. And then, Derek, you get to wrap up this bitch. Shovel, <clears throat> yeah, the shoveler, the, the shovel. That's yeah. a good. That's a good that's superhero. A good yeah. Uh, so uh, just to reiterate, or just to recap our picks, <laughs> Scotty, <laughs> shut up! I'm going useless. JP first. JP has a chainsaw that he can't plug in. Should have went with gas, JP. No, he should have been. Uh, JP also has rat poison in a Snickers bar, so he can try to poison Derek. Derek's dead. Derek's dead. Uh, he has a pickaxe and flex seal. Mm-hmm. I have a very heavy nail gun that I could throw at a motherfucker. He's up on top of one of the racks just waiting for it. <laughs> He's going to drop it on us like a fucking Looney Tunes <laughs> anvil. Yeah. I have no air compressor. <laughs> He's got bird seed out in the middle of the aisle. He's yeah, on like the back it. of the nail gun going, <laughs> just trying to blow as hard as I can. <laughs> but I do have a hatchet. That's good. I have some uh, Ninja Star saw blades, mm-hmm. a sledgehammer, and I have a 50-gallon drum of epoxy. Uh, Derek has an air compressor, which he can't use. But it took the nail gun out. He Damn did. straight. That's the best air compressor. <laughs> That's defense. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Not defense. <laughs> defense, baby. He also has a weed. Defense wins championship. That's does. right. He's got a weed whacker without an extension cord. It's gas-powered. Uh-huh. Uh, he's got a chain, a heavy chain. <laughs> In case he's the weed igniter doesn't work. He's got a box knife. That's right. Close combat. And a shovel. Mm-hmm. Mid range, the shoveler. Mid range, mid range. He sounds like he's Coach Prime on this yeah. SNL yeah, skit. I got this. <laughs> yeah, mid range. <laughs> Anyways, you can go to la- uh, sorry uh, Twitter slash X, which is at LOT Sidelines. You can also go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote uh, for whoever this week wins the uh, Hardware Store Battle Royale. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I really had yeah, I liked it. I have a feeling there is going to be some more of these uh, just in different places. So there you go. But anyways, uh, now we can move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by, you know what, fucking JP. Absolutely. You're welcome. And storm bowling equipment. And storm bowling equipment. <laughs> Dude, storm. Yeah? Is that, is that, best. The, is that, best. Is that your fruit punch ball? Yeah. Is that your it's other ball? ball? Yeah, all, everything. I've only got one ball that's not a storm family Bowl. Okay, so come up with a slogan for storm bowling balls. No slogan? No. If you want to throw a strike, nothing? Okay. Not worth it. Fine. All right. right. Moving on. Uh, but anyways, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather, anytime you have to go pee, you have to pee in public unconcealed. Or anytime you have to take a shit, you can do that privately, only you have to shit in a Gatorade bottle. You know, my question is... It's a big Gatorade bottle. There, That first question. Well, for Derek, it has to be. Yeah, You don't know just, what my asshole looks like. I'm just making uh, a guess. <laughs> I'll by show the, you. If by you the size of your ass, is it's got to be a pretty big Gatorade bottle. I'll show you if you want to see it. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, at all. 
You know, there's people that are like really bladder shy. They don't like to be in public. Do you think there's the opposite of that? Or like yeah, oh, a yeah, guy sure is, is like, he's like, oh God, I, I just can't piss unless I got nine people watching me. Yeah. Hey, come here real quick. We go to the bathroom with me. I really got to pee. It's like somebody who went to jail for drugs and anytime he has to piss, he just feels like he has to take a drug test with somebody staring at his dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to go with. I would rather, honestly, I'd probably rather shit in a Gatorade bottle. Well, there you go. There's your answer. <clears throat> yeah, I would rather do that, and then I could hide them around Scotty's house. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like, God damn it, Derek There's got in my heating shit vents bottle. again. <laughs> yeah, okay. it, it would be like you. Easter every day. Keister. <laughs> Keister. <laughs> yeah. Keister. I'll be the Keister Happy bunny. Keister. Yeah, Keister fucking, bunny. Hiding fucking bottles of shit all over your house. <laughs> All right, I was going to go with piss in public, but now I'm going Gatorade bottle. <laughs> and because of Derek, Derek's ideas, once again, all of us, clean sweep, and we're going to be Keister Bunnies. No, I us. can't believe that that's how that ended up. <laughs> yeah. I would have bet money that we would all would have went piss in public, but we all went fucking Gatorade bottle. So this, that's kind of the beauty of this show. You just never you just know never which way know. it's going to go. You never know. I mean, I think it'd be totally worth it. Can oh, yeah. you imagine that? Especially oh. if it's like you catch, you, you find one one week, you're like, God damn it, Derek got me again. Oh, you fuck, this is going to be a two yeah, bottler. Right. It's like a different, <laughs> it's like a different game of tag. It's just like one guy gets the other one I week like and you're it. like, shit, I got it. Now I got to fucking shit in a Gatorade bottle and hide it in Derek's house. Hey, Alexa, order two cases of Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> With the big spouts. The With big the big ones. openings. And a yeah. funnel. <laughs> Yeah, nobody said we couldn't use a funnel. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Uh, oh, man, that was a fun episode, ladies and gentlemen. I had a lot of fun. Well, oh, my God. Uh, but uh, JP and Derek, you guys have anything coming up? I know we got a we got a Wichita's Funniest Person contest yeah. that's coming up. That starts tomorrow. It's at Vorshay's. Yeah. And then the finals, I believe, are at semifinals and finals are both at Temple, Temple Live. Live yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to enter or not yet. First place is a thousand dollars. Typically, the if you've won, you don't enter again. Yeah, but I'm going to see what the field looks like, and if anybody else that's won, if there's a couple, then I'm going to be like, all right, hang on a minute. You know, there that's is a thousand dollars. Right? Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, the so, fucking the prizes used to be like circus peanuts or something like that. I yeah. have never won Wichita's funniest. So comedian you can because win. Yeah. when I the year that I should have won it. Like you get five minutes, yeah. And I was out on stage for seventeen minutes, yeah. <laughs> and it's not because I you lost most, all track of time, dude. No, I was killing, yeah. And I was like, "Fuck this contest!" I'm I got so many people that came here to see me tonight. I'm just gonna fucking kill for fifteen minutes. There you go. And I did. And they kept flashing me the light. And finally, I told Biggs, I was like, "You can stop flashing that fucking light. I'm not getting off stage <laughs> unless you get your big ass up here and carry me off." <laughs> I got the most <clears throat> negative points of anyone ever. Well, yeah, you went over yeah. by fucking 12 minutes. Yes. So that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, support your local comedians anywhere that you guys are. Uh, I know here in Wichita, they, I mean, we were doing that by doing the show pretty much. For sure, so, man. So uh, thank you guys to all of you guys that listen to the show on a weekly basis. We sincerely do appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. And keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep following us on our <clears throat> social media. That helps us out. Um, obviously, participating also helps us out. Uh, by uh, participating in the Monday Fun Day and the draft, uh, we really do like hearing uh, you know hearing from you guys and seeing the stuff that you guys suggest to be put out. Now, I do have a little bit of an announcement. Oh so uh, we will we have. We knew it. No, I knew it. No, I told you the wine. He was close. No, no. Uh, we mm. no next not next week's episode because next week Derek will be with us. Uh, that that episode will come out next week as normal. Womp womp. Yeah, pretty well, much. Unless yeah. there's some yeah. kind of tragic accident between now and then, or if he just gets absolutely, or if uh, you'd send bullets. Yes, remember <laughs> send bullets. Nine millimeter. Yeah, hollow or, point. Please. Or if he just saw a sudden faints down this flight of stairs after he discovers a Gatorade bottle full of shit. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, the following week, uh, which would be our Halloween episode, uh, we will have a special guest on, and I want to give an announcement to that. That is going to be Mr. Jeremy Joseph will be on the show. And Derek will miss that episode. Thank God. And Scotty will be in blackface. No, I won't. <laughs> no. No, I won't. No. We might dress up, though. He will have a hood on. <laughs> <laughs> That's He's awful. going as Clayton Bixby. He's yeah, going to be in blackface. Oh, no. He is. 
Uh, but anyways, <laughs> excited to have uh, him back. And thank you guys very much. I know we have a great crew here at Laughing on the Sidelines, and uh, it means the world to us. All of you guys sharing our content, that means a lot. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us... Uh, we hope your foreskin gets caught in JP's teeth and <laughs> rips it off. <laughs> Hashtag accidental circumcision. <laughs> and he immediately makes a joke about it. And it all could have been avoided if you would have took that fortune cookie a little more seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. If you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Condoms, where cream pies go to die. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, ass. We will see y'all later, guys. Take care. 